tomorrow morning as it was this morning when you head out the door. Yeah, we were just talking about chili. <laughs> this is a different kind of chili here, like freezing. You know what I'm saying, Kevin? Yeah, you know what? After the long winter we had, everyone here spring, and you think you immediately jump into shorts and flip-flops, right? That's not the way it works here in Ohio. You still have these cold nights and mornings, but beautiful days like we experienced today, albeit it was still a little on the chilly side, especially if you weren't directly standing in the sun. All right, it's another cold night outside. You've already fallen to freezing in Wilmington. Everyone else pretty much outside of the immediate urban heat island, so to speak, is already down into the 30s. We're still holding on to 41 officially at the airport. So here's your hour by hour forecast. It's going to be a nice fall down towards freezing by tomorrow morning. In fact, many of you will wake again to morning temperatures in the upper 20s. Here we are tonight at 41 degrees officially at the airport. Got a little bit of an east wind out there, still making it feel a little bit colder. But the winds have relaxed considerably from where they were throughout the day today. But I still think there's going to be enough of a breeze around most of the area tonight, unless you're kind of in a valley or sheltered area, that I don't expect to see widespread frost in the morning. Obviously, there could be a little bit again, especially in protected areas. Case in point, look at Harrison at 31 degrees. So you're already below freezing there. That lets me know you're probably where the actual instrumentation is, is in a kind of a sheltered area. So it's usually a little bit colder, get a colder reading out of Harrison. Loveland's dropped to 31, 35 in Mason, 37 Springboro, Hamilton at 35. You're in the middle to upper 30s across much of the bluegrass to Brooksville over towards Dry Ridge, 36 Dillsboro, 35 currently in Versailles. Let's discuss rain chances because an absolutely beautiful day coming up tomorrow. And then this is where things begin to get tricky. Heading into the tail end of opening day. Rain chances are going to move in here. It looks like towards dark on opening day. So any post game activities certainly could be impacted by wet weather. I'll show you here in just a moment, but rain chances really jump up heading into Friday and Saturday and probably some showers lingering too into Sunday. So here's your opening day forecast. It will get off to a milder start on Thursday morning, and yes, it will get breezy during the afternoon. So here's a look at how we break it down. Head downtown about 10 a.m. Temperatures will be in the mid 50s. You're looking good at noon, pressing 60. It won't be a bright and sunny day, but overall the sensible weather being outdoors, comfortable and mostly dry. Here's your post game activities. That's when I think some wet weather could move in. I think you're in decent shape for the game itself. So our weather good guy is in control of our weather. Here comes the next impending storm system that will bring changes for the end of the week. Overnight lows again, generally between 25 and 30 for most of us tomorrow morning, and then a nice recovery tomorrow. Temperatures will jump almost 30 degrees from morning start into the upper 50s, knocking right there on the door of 60 degrees. Here's a look at Futurecast. Cloud free skies tonight. Beautiful day tomorrow. Much like today, I think hard pressed to find a cloud in the sky, to be honest with you. As we head into Thursday, here's what begins to change. Notice clouds move in here, and I'm not going to rule out on Thursday morning. There could be a bit of rain or a sprinkle here or there, but most of your Thursday during the day, we are in decent shape. Here's a look at the 5 o'clock hour. This is during the game. We're still looking good, but look what happens around dark. You see rain beginning to expand. Yeah, I think chances for rain jump pretty quickly shortly after the game. So if the Reds win and you're hanging out, you're going to need the rain gear Thursday evening and night because rain chances go up from there after the game on Thursday, it appears. So we'll keep a close eye on the timing. I've been telling you all week we're trying to keep the rain out of here for opening day. Clear and cold, 28 for your overnight low. Tomorrow, sunny, perfect and milder, 59 for your afternoon high. Here's your day planner. Cold start down in the upper 20s to near 30 and then we'll climb quickly almost towards 60 by afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, Mike and Sheree, I haven't thrown any dark clouds on opening day, at least not yet. But you know, I was thinking this time last week, it just it's always hard this time of the year, a week in advance to keep it exactly the same. But right now I think we're in decent shape, but it certainly looks very wet though Friday into Saturday. Oh, the pressures of being a meteorologist. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We've been hounding Kevin for the last five days. Thanks.